here over at Subscribestar. So to kind of know what this is all about, uh, search YouTube, uh, Matt Walsh does a chicken cry. And I think that'll, that, and it, it's like, oh, it's just crazy lady. Yeah, that's not a problem. A crazy person's not a problem, but she's a medical doctor. Oh, that, that is a problem. It, when, when scientists have beliefs not in accord with reality, yeah, that's not a good thing. So what is a woman, the Matt Walsh versus Elon Musk? So Matt Walsh makes a film about this recent pronoun stuff, which I guess is recent within the past 10 years. And he wants to put it on Twitter, which now has video hosting and live streams, but it gets labeled as wrong think because they use the biologically accurate pronouns, which I'm not sure how that's misgendering somebody because gender is derived from sex and there's only two sexes. So, I mean, that accurately gendering somebody is mis... It's, uh, that's the cognitive dissonance they want you to... Uh, the, the, the Frankfurt School wants to instill in people. So, um, he brings it to Musk's attention, because it got labeled whatever, and he says, okay, he fixed it, so they're going to air it tonight at some time. And I've seen bits of the movie. Uh, it's absolutely insane. And Matt Walsh does a great job of staying calm with people who are clearly mentally ill. Were, I mean, at what point do you have somebody who is is saying things? They're saying things that you hope they don't believe because they're scared. But like, do some of them believe it? Do they really, really believe some of this nonsense they're saying? So one of the best things the film does is show how scared people, uh, professional people are in left wing institutions of being canceled. Even to ask a professor what a woman is is a woman's an adult human female. Well, okay, smarty pants, what's a female? Well, generally, fe females bear the young and, and males carry the seed. It can go deeper than that, but you get the idea. Like, this isn't this isn't contested. But uh, college professors panic when they're confronted with the simple idea that a woman is an adult female because they're stuck in cancel culture of cultural Bolshevism where critical th theory from the, uh, the Bolshies of the Frankfurt School are are pushing ideas that are not in accord with reality, otherwise known as lies and nonsense. But they have to pretend to at least entertain these ideas um, because they're able to use these, uh, these bullshies, they're able to use their control of these institutions to attack people who simply disagree with them, that men aren't women. That's enough to trigger people and start hate campaigns and get people fired. Um where most people go, oh, you know what? It's just easier to just to go along with this nonsense. It's like, but you know it's not true. And you know it's also going to get worse and worse and worse. I mean, look what they're doing to kids now. It's That's pretty bad what they're doing to kids now. I can't imagine what the future holds. I envision an actual human sacrifice to Moloch. I mean, if you're sterilizing somebody, it's like, that's the sacrifice. I mean, that's as great as, I mean, that's, I would say that's even worse than deleting them because you're, it's like they have to live their whole life without having even the opportunity of, of bringing forth new life. I mean, that's a kind of like a, a soul-crushing living hell you're doing to a lot of these kids. And these people, no, no, we're stunning and brave. Anyway, so the um, whole thing was brought to life with uh, light to Jordan Peterson. Uh, the, I think he's Canadian. who said that compelled speech was a, a bad idea. And mentally ill people stood around him in a circle. He was out there. He's willing to have a reasonable discussion. You know, reasonable adults can disagree without being disagreeable. So this this mentally ill circle of people just stood around him and yelled at him. They couldn't articulate an argument. They just yelled because, and I don't mean this hyperbolically, they're just mentally ill. There is something going on in the West. Is it nature or nurture? Um, but you know there's something going on here. I'm not just talking on my ass. When I was a kid, autism was very rare. In my lifetime, it has increased orders of magnitude, and nobody is doing anything about it. It might be an environmental contagion, you know, plastics or heavy metal, that kind of thing. Or it might be that women are so much older having kids, or they're drinking more. But telling women to have healthier babies younger or to stop drinking is not politically correct. So nothing gets done. It's just this elephant, this elephant in the room of, of increasing autism and other mental illnesses, and, and nobody's saying anything about it because they don't want to possibly look at the, oh, the issue might be that we need to bring back young families. Oh, we can't possibly do that. I mean, we, we could. It's, I mean, we 
we've <laughs> all you have to do is start talking about it. like, well, that's why they censor and deplatform because they don't want you talking about certain things. And the things they don't want you talking about are the things that very much need to be talked about. Anyway, so uh, the uh, the whole thing's insane. And when you look around at this organic issue combined with the Marxist teachers are pushing, you realize that we, we need some voices of reason to counter this Frankfurt School critical theory stuff that's being pushed completely unopposed. And when a, a speaker tries to come to one of these colleges' campuses and you think, oh, well, I'm dealing with you know reasonable young adults, they're, they're here to hear diversity of thought, um, that that might have been a few decades ago. That's not now. The, the kids today will just um, just inarticulately rage and yell and shut down the speakers. There's, there's no, I mean, it happens at, at colleges and, and law schools as well, or probably even med schools, where the students will just yell. And they don't, um, they can't counter the, the argument because they don't know how to, so they just, they just silence the speaker. So things just get worse and worse. In case you haven't noticed, the schools and colleges are fully taken over by these brainwashed bullshies. There is no tolerance for diversity of thought. The idea that somebody would say the things, like the things I'm saying, or others, in response to them, whether in high school or college, nowadays would be met with violence. This is the second generation of the participation trophy generation. The idea that people can disagree with them actually panics them and it makes them angry because they don't know how to have reasonable discussions because the schools taught them what to think, not how to think, that there, there, there can be no two sides of the story. That, that idea is just inconceivable to them. They've never had to think about around corners and view things from the, the opposite side. Teachers don't teach both sides of any issue because they know that there's a good sign, a, sign, a chance that this, the students will take the rational side that it, at least the boys in class will take a, there's a good chance that if they're exposed to a, a counter argument, the boys in class are probably going to agree with it because boys are naturally more rational anyway and go like, oh yeah, all this, this rainbow sh stuff is cultural Bolshevism. And then, the, you know, the blue haired, you know, pride flag teacher is going to lose their friggin' mind. And, you, and honestly, like if you're in school, you'd be punished if you took that, that, um, that viewpoint that this is all just, you know, Frankfurt School type of nonsense, critical theory from the Bolsheviks. Like, if you started examining that, you'd have to form a club in school. Like, they have all these other clubs you could form. You could form clubs, um, you know, like a White Lives Matter club, which uh, legally, if it's a government school, they have to, if they allow one club, they have to allow all clubs. Um, so you could, but you also knew the school, you also know the school would, would try to punish you for it. And the other students would probably react violently because they're so brainwashed, depending on the side of the school. And and it's the same way at college campuses. Like the students, at by the time they hit college, they are just completely complete. Bold. They're so so brainwashed. I mean, back in my day, it's like a long time ago, it was the same uh, Che Guevara shirts. And even back then, people knew about him because, like, if you're really reading the book, you're really reading about you know from the Russian side of communism and its influence on Cuba, and you're reading about these leaders. You realize ah, ah they had beliefs that are not have uh, have become a little bit dated. And they've even more dated now. You look back at those shade shirts and you go, ah, this guy's not, I mean, this guy's your hero, but it's like, he seems like 90% of the things he values are not the things like he, him and, and the rest of those early leaders would look at these modern day rainbow kids and be like, yeah, this, you guys are going in the gulag. What are you talking about? Like, no, 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 it's going to be different now. Yeah, but it, it never is. It just always leads to the same mass starvation. No, you don't understand. When the right people are in charge, and you look at them and go, so the the right people are going to look suspiciously like you, right? They're, they're just going to quink. You, you you people are quinkinically going to be the right people to start it off, start off, and then you'll return power back to the people, right? Like when Castro got elected or took over or whatever, he goes, yeah, I, I have this book on Castro. It's fascinating, uh, on er, er, for, for formation of Cuba. And... um. He goes, yeah, we're going to have elections. We're going to set these things. It's going to be a few months. And he just got to get pushed, pushed further and further out. And then finally goes, elections? Poor K. We don't need elections. It's like we have this we have this dictatorship. It's like this is the, what the people wanted. It's like I think the people wanted elections. Yeah, yeah. Once you seize power, uh, people are just not that eager to give up power. And like I said, America's got some safeguards um, for a while eventually i mean the constitution is just a piece of paper without the right people to who value it if you if the demographics of the country changes such that they don't value the constitution well they'll just do away with it it's just it's not magic it's just a piece of paper it's the people who made it magic 
Um, I mean, it's a few years in the future, but it's it's on the way, and nobody's stepping up to stop it. Um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode.